guys welcome back to the channel welcome to war number three of season 52 i've been slacking on these videos because of 9.1 but here we are war number three and before we jump into it here are the first two war stats the uh, first one was loxc second one was cirr both fight both wars i was assigned six fight each and no deaths on them that makes a total of four mini fights and eight bat fights for today against uh, P-A-L-O, I am going to have around 7 fights and uh, here is the plan for it. So I'm gonna start off with part 6 with Ironheart vs Atuma, then Luke Hitch vs Absorbing Man, and in section 2, new 24 is going to be Ironheart vs Bishop, 33 is going to be Joe Fixit taking on Doom and then taking on Maestro on 40, and then there's a Sasquatch on the boss island on node 47 and finishing off with an onslaught on node 48 so Ironheart vs onslaught. So let's jump into it and check it out. Starting off with the path number 6 I was assigned so as usual I'm gonna go ahead and rainbow boost here and I am going to use an Ironheart to, for quite a few fights so I'm using tech 212% boost. And the fight is going to be against the Atuma with the nodes Combat Deja Vu Prowess. So whenever the attacker will land the same type of basic attacks twice in a row, you will give Defender a Prowess increasing their special damage by 50% for 10 seconds. Insurance Policy, if you remove the Prowess, you give Defender a burst of power and spiked armor. So when you strike the opponent with a critical hit, there's an 80% chance to get a physical resistance buff. So pretty straightforward with the... Uh, Ironheart, the uh, the incinerate helps keep the hydration charges down. You just simply uh, go medium light medium. Do not parry him. Just block. Let him throw a heavy attack. Medium light medium into SP ones, and that should do the trick. And once you have enough, you can throw a big SP two to kill off a tumor. just like that we move on to the next fight that is going to be against an absorbing man now here absorbing man has aggression prowess so every two seconds you will gain prowess if you don't remove it second one is the combat power the insurance policy so as soon as you remove a prowess he's going to get a flush buff increasing his uh, increasing his uh, power rate by 25 percent then if you end up your combo with the same attack as last time you do a guaranteed crit now this is a tactic fight and remember that um, once you hit 15 uh, once you hit 15 hits on the opponent they are going to gain power and uh, the way you mitigate that is you use hashtag secutor champions and you apply 6 debuff at 6 debuffs you are going to apply a heal block on the opponent that will also reduce their combat power rate by 75% per, uh, percent. so their power gain will be mitigated also when you punish the specials you also pause the timer on that power gain too so those are the two ways so champions that have easy access to debuffs work really well so this was the fight against absorbing man just trying to remove his uru forms and just slowly building up my sp2 and taking him out with that ending up with the striker right here got an sp2 ready but there we go we didn't need him and he is down just like that we move on to section 2 this is going to be a bishop now this fight is a bit annoying in a sense that his bishop on a prowess build up unblockable also superior specials his special attacks are increased by 200 percent and if there's a buff nullified then uh, it also gives power to uh, bishop so here i started off the, with a rupture pre-fight and i also used a ps1 start and i was just trying to get quickly to an sp2 and then uh, make sure to bait out his sp1 out and then back to back special 2 so i can kill him off very quick so that's one special 2 and here we are that is number 2 the faster you finish the fight the better do not give him like sp2s that can really kill you off in one special attack only and i just used up a energy refresh for 16 units and going back in against Doom, again, prowess build up unblockable, bandit, bandit solutions, and passively sp uh, special. Using a joke fix it here, so it's very simple. Just use uh, medium ending combos to get those spades to, for increased damage. 
and just throw those sp1s out they will be enough to uh bring down doom um now he is also a secutor champion so uh, those uh, uh, those um, heal blocks and power reduction will be there and just like that you can take doom out fix it is such a baller it doesn't give me enough time to explain even. So, node number 40. That is going to be reinvigorated, unblockable, burden of might, and high energy diet with indomitable. So, you need to bring a champion that does more physical damage. And the best part about Fix It is that his bleeds on the SP1, they bypass any glancing also. So, he is amazing for that. So, there we go. We pushed him to an SP2. That's an SP2 out. So I started off the fight with using a heavy attack so I can pause those uh, pause those cosmic charges that he gets and uh, for as long as possible. And here we are with an SP1 evade that I missed miserably and uh, going back in. So this is all about spending spamming the SP1 and that applies those crazy bleeds and that takes out uh, Maestro. There we are. He's gonna throw his SP2 out. There we have it. And we go back in. Great planning by the team planner. Like it takes quite a bit of time for those guys to come up with all of these counters and everything. Especially when you factor in the tactic. There's a lot to be looked at and they do a phenomenal job. Slightly longer fight, taking a bit of time. But it's the name of the game is very simple. Just SP1s. And the bleeds let them take him down 20 bleeds at that time 14 also so yeah the bleeds is the way to go with sp1 and you can bring maestro down i think this is the last of c1 and here he goes so so far so good next up is going to be your sasquatch now he's on node 47 feet of vigilance power efficiency missing in action and return policy now here um, we, i am going to use a luke cage i recently ranked to him luckily he wasn't banned so i can use him so with the exhaustion he will not gain his wrath charges and like luke cage is like the perfect counter for uh, uh, to go against sasquatch I can, uh, what I try to do is to save up my SP3 always, one to create distance, secondly if I need uh, like a quick uh, activation on my tactic I can just throw SP3 that will apply around 6 of those uh, exhaustion debuffs and that will probably heal local opponent because of Secutor and um, give, help me control the power on the opponent. But this one is a pretty simple and straightforward fight. No rest charges mean this fight is nothing. Just bait out the specials and you can go in and go at it again. And yeah, just like that, I was able to bring out Sasko. Slightly longer fight, but uh, it was very manageable. Uh, the nodes also. Um, I did this fight a war before with Ironheart. And it was very painful because of the wrath and all of those specials he was getting back to back to back. But the great part about um, Luke Cage is... Uh, he does not give any rat charges because of exhaustion to Sasquatch. So he just literally makes him like a marshmallow and he dies very quick. Every now and then after every special 2 I'm going to throw in heavy attack so I can apply debilitate. And I am running the spirit 3x3 so every bit helps to counteract the region. And just like that and the end of it SP1 69 hits and Sasquatch is down. Final fight against will be Onslaught on node number 49, Stunning Reflection, Polka Dot Power, Brute Force. So if you don't attack the opponent, you get a degen, and with Stunning Reflection, he is going to have a shield that can only be removed if you apply a poison or if you apply an incinerate. Now, I would love to bring Iron Heart and start with incinerate, but incinerate, it doesn't work well against Onslaught because he just goes crazy and kills you off. So I had to start up with a um, rupture debuff and uh, I cannot uh, parry him so I have to play stun immune so I have to block some of his hits then expect him to like throw a heavy at the end of it and I can retaliate 
and then the polka dot power will slowly build me up to two bars of power so I can throw specials back to back and two of them and take him out so yeah um, the only thing here was to just only use sp ones and uh, that's about it and then at the end sp2 to take him out so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll be back with the other world videos finally i'm catching up to them so have a good one bye